Greetings everyone. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use PowerShell script debugger and event logging capabilities to deobfuscate obfuscated PowerShell. In order to get started, I'm going to use the PowerShell script debugger here, which you can run by running PowerShell underscore ISE for integrated script debugger from the run prompt. It's also located in C, Windows, System32, Windows PowerShell 1.0, whatever. Uh, so here I have a very simple but nevertheless obfuscated PowerShell script that I want to see what it's doing before I let it run. So I have this line here that has a whole bunch of obfuscated stuff that I can see nevertheless is being stored in this variable x, and then this line here is going to invoke expression x. So whatever x is, is going to run, and I need to determine if I want that to happen or what it is it's going to do. So the way I can do this is because this is a debugger, I can set breakpoints and run things as I please. So I'm going to set a breakpoint on line 2 here by pressing F9. And then I can run this and it will stop before this line gets executed. So there we go. And now you can see this is turned brown, indicating that I'm at my breakpoint. Now because the X variable is set and the integrated script debugger is pretty cool, I can simply mouse over my variable and I get its contents. So here it says, do not meddle in the affairs of dragons, for you are crunchy, and taste good with ketchup. So in this case, the script really just offers useful advice. Additionally, because the contents of this variable are set, I can use my command line output here and simply do echo x, and I get the same thing. Additionally, don't be afraid to change the contents of scripts to see what they're doing and to modify them, to sort of defang them, to re remove their capability to do their malicious actions and instead help you, the analyst, figure out what the script is doing. So I can stop my debugger so that I can make changes and I can replace IEX with echo. I can go to my breakpoint and I can simply run this and now rather than doing whatever it was going to do, it just outputs it for me so that I can more easily see what the script would do. So that's a script debugger. In addition to that, I can also use the Windows event log. In order to get to the Windows event log, I run eventviewer.msc and then I go under applications and services logs, Microsoft, Windows, PowerShell, and then operational. And I can refresh this here. And the event IDs you're looking for are 4104 and 4103, which are module logging and script block logging. Now these two things are not enabled by default, so you will not see this. I, however, have a simple PowerShell script that I include in a link in the video description that will enable this logging for you. You will have to reboot your computer or VM or whatever you're running it on before these logs will show up. But as you can see, looking through this, this is very powerful logging. It shows exactly what the script did. Here, this is being piped to out default, which is simply part of the echo chain. If I look at this event, it's pretty much the same thing. This is a write output, which echo is a, a alias for, and it shows exactly what was being written. If I still had IEX here instead of echo, it would still do the same thing. It would show me what is being passed to IEX. So between the script, uh, integrated script debugger and the PowerShell event logging, you can get a very clear indication of what a PowerShell script did on your system. However, if you executed a malicious PowerShell script and it exploited your system, then you're already pretty much screwed. But at least with this, you can determine how screwed you are and thus potentially begin the process of unscrewing yourself, which is an essential part of the incident response chain. So there you go. That is how to use PowerShell's integrated script debugger and event logging to deobfuscate obfuscated PowerShell. Thanks for watching.